Hi, thanks for joining us. We're reading in the book of Luke. We're on chapter 21 now. And Jesus will be prophesying about the end times. So this is a very interesting chapter. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their gifts into the temple offering boxes. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. What I'm about to tell you is true, Jesus said. That poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these other people gave a lot because they are rich. And even though she is poor, she put in everything. She had nothing left to live on. So her little two pennies were worth more than however much the rich people gave because they had way more and kept way more than she did. Some of Jesus' disciples were talking about the temple. They spoke about how it was decorated with beautiful stones and with gifts that honored God. But Jesus asked, Do you see all this? The time will come when not one stone will be left on top of another. Every stone will be thrown down. Teacher, they asked, When will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are about to take place? Jesus replied, Keep watch. Be careful that you are not fooled. Many will come in my name. They will claim, I am he, and they will say, the time is near. Do not follow them. Do not be afraid when you hear about wars and about fighting against rulers. Those things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. Then Jesus said to them, Nation will fight against nation. Kingdom will fight against kingdom. In many places there will be powerful earthquakes. People will go hungry. There will be terrible sicknesses. Things will happen that will make people afraid. They will, there will be great and miraculous signs from heaven. But before all this, people will arrest you and treat you badly. They will hand you over to synagogues and put you in prison. You will be brought to kings and governors. All this will happen to you because of my name. And so you will be witnesses about me. But make up your mind not to worry ahead of time about how to stand up for yourselves. I will give you words of wisdom. None of your enemies will be able to withstand them or prove them wrong. Even your parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends will hand you over to the authorities. The authorities will put some of you to death. Everyone will hate you because of me. Not a hair on your head will be harmed. Remain strong in the faith, and you will receive eternal life. A time is coming when you will see armies surround Jerusalem. Then you will know that it will soon be destroyed. Those who are in Judea should then escape to the mountains. Those in the city should get out. Those in the country should not enter the city. This is the time when God will punish Jerusalem. Everything will come true just as it has been written. How often, how awful it will be in those days for pregnant women. How awful for nursing mothers. There will be terrible suffering in the land. There will be great anger against those people. Some will be killed by the sword. Others will be taken as prisoner to all nations. Jerusalem will be taken over by Gentiles until the, end, uh, until the times of the Gentiles come to an end. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. The nations of the earth will be in terrible pain. They will be puzzled by the roaring and tossing of the sea. Terror will make people faint. They will be worried about what is happening in the world. The sun, moon, and stars will be shaken from their places. At that time, people will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. He will come with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up, hold your head up with joy and hope. The time when you will be set free will be very close. Jesus told them a story. Look at the fig tree and all the the trees. When you see leaves appear on the branches, you know summer is near. At the same time, when you see these things happening, you will know that God's kingdom is near. Well, all those things are happening now, so 
we should know that we're there. We're at the time of the end. What I'm telling, what, what I'm about to tell you is true. The people living now will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be careful. If you aren't, your hearts will be loaded down with wasteful living, drunkenness, and the worries of life. Then the day, then the day the Son of Man returns will close on you like a trap. It will happen suddenly. That day will come on every person who lives on the whole earth. Always keep watching. Pray that you will be able to escape all that is about to happen. Also pray that you will not be judged guilty when the Son of Man comes. Each day Jesus saw, taught, each day Jesus taught at the temple, and each evening he went to spend the night on the hill called the Mount of Olives. All the people came to the temple early in the morning. They wanted to hear Jesus speak. So I believe that he was talking about two things, um, two events. Uh, one that was coming up soon when he talked about this is going to happen really soon to those people living at that time. Um, what happened was in the year 70 AD that the Romans invaded Jerusalem and destroyed the temple. Um, I believe he was talking about that when he, he talked about the temple being broke down and all that. Um, but then he went on and spoke also of his second coming in the clouds and what it'll be like at that time, which will be really the end of the world where this is the end of Jerusalem he's talking about. And then he's talking, then he says the Gentiles will take over, which the Romans did. And it said that the Gentiles will, will rule Jerusalem until their time is up. So I believe that the time of the Gentiles was up when Israel was given back to the Jewish people in 1948, I think it was, or 46 anyway. Um, so, so many signs here that he mentions um, tell us that we're in those last days and we should not be afraid. We should be um, excited, thankful, and not worry about um, if we are persecuted for being believers as Christians because um, the world is headed a different way. And the Bible tells us in a different place that the Antichrist will be against us. Um, because we aren't going to follow him, the true believers anyway. Many profess to be Christians, and when the test comes, they're not going to hold up. And Jesus talks about that too. We just read that he, he talked about how we need to keep in prayer and, and be ready, because time is coming soon. So I hope you um, keep reading, keep praying, and... Um, Again tomorrow, we'll be reading the next chapter.